Welcome to the channel, welcome to the workshop. I had a retro tech uh, project turn up today. I uh, saw this on eBay a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it's a Sashio Walkman. I mean, look at how 80s that look. I couldn't I couldn't really turn it down for the money. I think it was 12, 13 pounds. Graphic equalizer, look at those graphics on it as well. Fairly basic model, but yeah, couldn't say no. Uh, don't know if it works. Uh, took it out of the box uh, to have a look at it. That's about as far as it's gone. So first job is throw some batteries in it and see if it actually works. And we can see if we need the belts and then give it a clean up but it's in pretty good nick so far but i'm gonna say i don't know if it works or not so first job get it on the bench and yeah take it apart okay on the bench so it's a pretty nice looking unit and the first obvious thing that's not right with it is the door keeps opening it's um it seems to be the springs gone in it so we might have a look at that though after what are some springs in for that sort of spring wire to make one but the first thing to do is to see if this thing's working so so the uh the battery compartment looks fairly clean didn't look it on the um on the listing but we'll see it's definitely moving making some noise though fast forward isn't as much faster than why a bit noisy that motor so that might need a brace uh, let's do a tape in it let's see what we've got um okay i have some matching sashio um speakers as well so I'll put one in there how's this going it's just dropping. Yeah. Well, that's a problem. It's only one speaker or the other. Huh. Only one of the speakers is working at a time. I'm trying to see if there's anything for mono or anything on here. Like it, right? Let's try that again. We'll get some uh, contact cleaner in there as well, in case that's the problem. It's flipped again. Well, the graphic equalizer also works. This thing's good to go, just needs to tidy up. So, we'll get some contact cleaner in that. We might, because there's quite a lot of noise coming through from the motor, I might just take the back off and see if we can re-grease uh, some of it inside, clean it up, just try and quieten that down. But I can't imagine this being that that quiet when it was new. Right, just grab some contact cleaner. Um, just I just didn't, didn't have a play around with the uh, the radio, so we put the radio on. Yeah, and that's uh that's working absolutely spot on that is that's i'm really happy with that um this is still playing up it seems to be the 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 radio control if i turn the tape back on again oops fast forward that a minute the next track coming on i think it's this playing up so again we'll get some car contact cleaner in there Just get rid of this. So I'm just using some uh, some basics, of nothing too over the top. Let's get some in there. I'm going to clean this anyway, the case. So let's get some. Now clean the surface off. That pop us swim around, see if we can get some of the carbon off it. All the In there again. Notice no reverse on this, only fast forward and no um, 
I think we're going to the site. Flip it off. Let's flip that over. Try it on the other side. Tape's just chewed up. That's not good, is it? Right, let's have a look at that. One second. Right, rewound the tape that got curled up. It turns out it's the tape that was the problem. It was um it's an old tape this and it was sticking to itself. So it's the tape that's the problem, not the stereo for it for it snarling up. But the odd difficult mechanism to get on top of. Um yeah, the contact uh, contact cleaner's worked. It's worked absolutely spot on. That um, I think it's just a kid of giving it a tidy up and a clean then, because everything else seems to be working absolutely spot on. Um, so you can see inside it's a little bit grimy. Um, the heads probably need a clean. But I think what we'll do is the belts seem absolutely fine. There's no slipping on it at all, and it all sounds like it's running at the right right speed. I think we'll just give the whole case a clean um, with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, yeah, maybe get some of these, try and get some of these scratches off the front with some Brasso. Yeah, really happy with it at the moment. I don't know how it sounds yet. I've not had a set of headphones on these speakers, although they're okay, they're not brilliant. So, yeah, I think it's going to be a, 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 a montage of cleaning. Cheers. Yeah, let's get to some of this cleaning on here. Let's get this tape out. I've just picked out some of my cleaning stuff, so I've got some alcohol um multi-surface cleaner and if i can find it uh we'll try some of the uh some of the brass so just trying to take some of the scratches off the front although it's in fairly good nick tidy up and this is the result of this one really nice one so this is a sashio radio um, stereo radio cassette player ps21 eq i'm assuming the eq is nice for the graphic equalizer this works all fine everything works on this absolutely spot on uh, so it's a pretty basic mechanism by the looks of it there's no you know there's no um reverse uh, auto reverse you basically got radio tape You've got your, your, your radio and tape functions on the side. You've got your just one phono jack, medium wave FM, whether you want stereo or not. A tuning knob, which obviously uses the thing, moves the thing in there. And the volume, and that's it. Nothing nothing more than that. But 
back in the 80s. If you were running around with this in your pocket, hung on your belt, that'd be awesome. Look at that. This is the kind of thing you'd see in Argos and go, yeah. The Argos catalog and say, yeah, that's that's what I want. So the thing we've really changed on this was there was, a, I think there was a, a silver strip that ran across the top here, which obviously we got rid of. It was just paint half it was missing. But it's looking really good. I'll do some close-up shots of it and say so it fits really nicely with my uh, matching speakers. So really, really, really pleased with both of those. So I'll do some close-ups. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you think this is interesting, just uh, like and subscribe. Well, that was, a, that was an easy fix. The only thing I've seen this only to do is that spring, but I'm going to order a pack of springs, I think. For the moment, to keep this shut, we're going old school. I'm using a little bit of blue tack because... You know, blue taxi saving would have been used back in the day. Technically, it's retro. So, yeah, I'm going to try this out for the commute on Monday, I think. Um, test it with a set of headphones because the sound of these isn't, isn't the best, but set of headphones and see what it's like. But I really do like it. Again, thanks for watching. And uh, say like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. Cheers.